Now here's a cool little find. This is a DT-166 thin client. I think that it originally it was used to run a restaurant sign. That's what I was told. But it's got an AMD geode 400 megahertz processor in it. Um, it has 128 megs in RAM. Um, so it's pretty tiny. I mean, this thing is um, less powerful, you know, less processing than a than a Raspberry Pi. So we got two USB ports, that's your on off headphone hookups. It has a, a monitor, you can hook a monitor up here. Internet, but this is uh, this is really slow. It's not even 100, it's 10, 10 base internet. And then a couple of USB ports and there's your power, okay? Um, and this thing is, you know, pretty small. So this is a soda can, okay? So you can, you know, kind of get a... Um, estimate of how small this thing is. It's not the smallest thin client I've ever seen, but it, it's pretty small compared to most thin clients. Alright, so let's take this part. I'll show you what's inside of it. Oops. So basically, you just take out these two screws on the back and it comes apart. Now, I am running this as a headless server. Meaning I don't have a monitor hooked to it, it's just hooked up to my network and then it's kind of the landing spot if you if you connect to my network. So you can actually, you can connect to it, I'll show you how to do that later. You can connect up to this little server which I call Peanut and uh, you can connect up to it and check it out yourself. Alright, so this is just a little insulator card. That sits in the bottom of this thing. And then here is the computer. So what we have is, well this is the front side. Um, this is a, a DOM module or disk on module. This is, um, let me see, this one, I think this is a 1 gig. I can't remember the specs. I believe it's a, yep, it's 1024. Okay, so this is a, it has one gig of, this is essentially the hard drive, this disk on module thing. It has a 44 pin IDE connector that you can't really see right there, but this is the hard drive. And this is the memory soldered to, it's 128 megs of memory soldered in. Can't do anything, can't change it. If you look right there, you've got the processor right down in there. I don't know if you can let's see if I can turn yeah the green see the green heat sink heat sink that's the processor right there and then this is is the BIOS chip. So that's essentially all we have and then this is a, a speaker that I added on it had a it had a little plug for a speaker which just runs off the headphone jack and I put this speaker on there so I can use eSpeak and it will talk to me and that sort of thing. Alright, and then this goes back together, slides in this slots, should go in there, oh it's hitting on this, gotta pull this out a little bit, alright. So light it right in there. Oh no. See, I try to do this on camera and I can't do it. Alright, get that underneath. Yeah. Alright, there we go. And then this slides this slides in those slots. There we go. Put the screws back in here and, and we're back together alright so you know it's one thing to have a thin client but it's also another thing sometimes to, to get them running so I'm gonna go upstairs and put this thing back on the network and then uh, we'll connect up to it and and kinda look at all the uh, stuff that it 
took to get ru running. The BIOS on this thing is really old, so it was pretty difficult to get a half decent, half modern version of uh, Linux running on it, just because of Sys Linux has changed so much. Let me get that light thing fixed there. All right. All right, ready to go. I'm going upstairs. Okay, this is uh, Peanut sitting right here doing his thing. He's got a fancy blue light right there. That's that's his most uh, that's his best feature, I guess you might say, is a fancy blue light. So it just sits here and does its fancy blue light thing. And back here, you know, all we have is. Uh, we got the uh, internet cable uh, because it's running as a headless server there's nothing else connected up other than the power cable so there it is now I'm gonna go over to my desktop and uh, we'll I'll show you how to connect up to peanut and make him do some stuff and we'll talk uh, maybe a little bit but mainly the way you can get on the peanut and it tells you you know he'll tell you everything about him and how the setup goes so, moving over to the desktop. Okay, now we're on my desktop. I'm going to open up a browser. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom it in a little bit, just so it's easier to see. I just did that, you know, with control and run the mouse wheel. So, let's just go ClaytonDarwin.com. You can search for it on Google. And there is my web page. Let me make this a little bigger. Yeah, there you go. So this is my non-professional web page where I just have junk up there. So it's linked to my YouTube channel and other things. If you look down through here, this is Peanut the server. Now the IP address changes sometimes. So you've got to click here and then it'll probably give you the right address. Sometimes it's not right, but usually it's the right address. We click on that, and here we are. We are connected to uh, connected to the server right there. Okay, so you get this is the home page. Little introduction. If you want to add a comment, you can go right here. Click on that, and you can add a comment stuff in there. Tell me where you're from, where you're whatever. And the only trick is you've got to uh, click this red button. So it's just a you know anti-robot thing. All right, so you can do that. You can add a comment there. You can go to this about page, and it tells you the specs and shows you some pictures of stuff we saw in the video. If you're really interested in the Linux setup, you can go here and look at the Linux setup. Uh, it was a difficult thing to get this running. I had to go back a few versions of Tiny Core Linux to, to make it work, but there it is. You can read all about it. And the really fun thing, you can go to Robo Voice, and if you put something in here and click Go, I am a hot, sexy peanut. It says it for you. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that exciting? Yes, it is. It's very exciting. Okay, so there you go. Tiny Core running on Peanut, and you can connect up to the server. And uh, if you follow these instructions, you could do it yourself. Have your own uh, your own Peanut the server. That's assuming you can find a DT-166. All right. That's it. Please... Uh, Add a comment. Let me know that you visited. Later.